What is up, car addicts? Welcome to our Need for Speed Heat video. This one will be customizing the Camaro Z28, the 2014 model. Awesome car. For those of you who don't know, this car does have the uh, 427, which is a 7 liter V8 from the C6 Corvette Z06. An amazing motor, very torquey. Just an all around good motor, over 500 horsepower. Just a really cool car. So this car wasn't built like the ZL1 from that generation, which was supercharged. It wasn't as track focused. It was more like a traditional muscle car. This one was built more for the track. I mean, it had humongous, I think it was 315s on the front. I mean, it was just a ridiculous car. Crazy, crazy track car. And we're going to be customizing in this video. The options might surprise you if you didn't play any for speed payback, but uh, it was definitely interesting to say the least. Um, so unfortunately, they don't they don't have the uh, newer Camaro Z01 in this game, which I really would have liked for obvious reasons. <laughs> but uh, it kind of sucks. But maybe maybe they'll add it in a future DLC. Who knows? But anyways, let's get right into the visual customization. So we got the front fenders. So you got this one, which is like the old older uh, before the uh, facelifted model uh, fender, or I guess you can call it the normal uh, fender with the Camaro on there. And then you have like a slight wide body which looks interesting uh, before I apply the options I just want to for many reasons I want to uh, show these options first and then I'll change the front bumper and you see what happens I mean it's just ridiculous so headlights you have the taped off ones then you have all the different you know tinted and colored and all that stuff and then this one which is like a uh, one of them's an intake and the other one's LED that's interesting okay you have different hood options, so you have this colored one here, kind of like the stock one, but a little bit, the vents move a little bit more towards the center of the hood. Interesting, okay. Uh, front splitters, basically front splitters under the splitter that's already there. And then the canards, not really a fan of that. Uh, now, front bumper, so boom, there you go, an instant ZL1 conversion. Which looks pretty sick. You got the ZL1 hood, which you, you saw wasn't one of the available options. The whole front bumper, headlights, everything, which I think looks pretty sick. Um, so if you know if you like the ZL1 look more, if you like the Z28 look more, it's just kind of it's all preference based. Then you have this one, which is a Z28 one with like a humongous front splitter on the front. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It just takes up the whole front end. Um, I think I'm going to go with the ZL1. Let's do a ZL1 build. Why not? Because there's no ZL1 in this game. So, Even though this is the older gen, I prefer the newer gen. But well, let's just go ahead and do that. And then we can kind of see what options change. Um, so there you go. See, there's a different hood now. And that one says D28. Not sure. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, headlights. There's also different headlights available. So there. <laughs> wow. And the intake one. Okay, but the canards changed too. Jeez, but the, for the front fender wasn't part of the front bumper, so it's you know to get if you're gonna do the, Z, the a ZL1 build, then you'd do the one that says come out not Z28, obviously. Or if you're gonna do a wide body, you can do that. Uh, the wide body in this car, I don't like how it, it cuts on the front there around or the reflector. That just looks stupid. They should have done something a lot better than that. I'm not feeling that at all. This part, the side part, looks good. But why does it start like? <laughs> no, that's that's really bad. Right, let's do the Camaro one. All right, moving along. Let's show these splitters. Okay, so the first option makes the stock splitter carbon fiber, then it adds other splitters under it. Why is there no stock carbon fiber splitter option? See that that makes no sense. I'm, I'm not really a fan of these splitters. They're too big. Look at this. They look like a plate under. <laughs> I don't even. <laughs> that's just that's so bad. Okay, mirrors. We got fender mounted mirrors, race car mirrors, and then carbon race car mirrors. Okay, side skirts. Because you have the gloss black, and then you can put this one, which I believe that's from the regular. Oh, well, that's from a ZL1, traditional ZL1, or a carbon fiber one. So I guess since our front one is now like. It's like a plastic, basically. Um, we might have to make the side of one match. So I guess we'll do that. I really wish there was a carbon fiber stock splitter option. It makes no sense why I don't allow that. Rear fenders. So you have 
the normal Camaro rear fender, obviously if it's D28 one has that little lip, but we lose that lip in the front because of the, um, see this is like some little things that they should really have separate options for. For example, when we go back to the front fender, let's say you want that lip, but you can't have it because you have a Z28 logo and you have a Z01 logo on the front and the hood. Like, so <laughs> you really can't have the lip and, you know, the Z01 logo or a Camaro logo or something. So you're, it's just, it's a mix. It's just difficult to be able to get what you like, but. And then you have the wide body one, which again, it just, what is it? See, look, it starts off nice and then it cuts off there and then it cuts off in the front. Okay, so I'll do the traditional one. Some people are gonna be like, this build sucks. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just doing a ZL1 build. That's pretty much it. Uh, rear spoiler. So you have a carbon fiber one with like a little wicker bill. That's what that's what they call it in the uh, the aftermarket industry. They call that big piece that goes across a wicker bill. Then you have the stock carbon fiber C28 wing. Then you have like a carbon fiber duck tail. Okay, and then you got the large rear spoilers, and then an even bigger stock C28 wing. That looks pretty sick. Carbon fiber. Then you just got giant spoilers. Jesus. Uh, before I choose one, I want to change the bumper. Obviously, spoiler alert. But uh, rear tail lights, light tint, and then full dark tint. Um, let's see here. Rear bumpers. Boom. There you go. So you got the ZL1 rear bumper. Now this is something I personally prefer. I prefer the back end of the uh, pre facelift instead of the newer back end. So that's the one I like. Very nice. Then we can tint these. That's cool. Definitely not gonna black them out. That just looks dumb. But I'll do a light smoke definitely. Okay. Let's see if the spoilers change. Oh, so it's the same spoilers. Okay. I think the carbon fiber one with a wicker bill is kind of cool. That's too big, isn't it? <laughs> I'll do the carbon fiber Z28 wing. That's pretty sick. Alright. License plate. Oh, we're going to have the rear bumper. License plate. Choose that. Need for speed. Just put um, ZL1, I guess. Or ZL. ZL1, if you know what I mean. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh boy. <laughs> I just got like a crap ton of comments. Boo, you suck. <laughs> so I got a diffuser here. I got this diffuser. I'm not, not really a fan of these diffusers. Yikes. See, in, instead of doing these contraptions down here, they could have made these stock diffuser carbon fiber right that would have been nice but nope all right the exhaust we got the stock quad tips we got the dual how's that point up okay oh my carbon fiber quads that stick out a foot ones that point up and point down point to the sides point up in the air <laughs> okay um yeah no thanks i'm gonna keep the stock ones because I mean it already comes with the nice quad tips what else would you want to put on it let me know in the comments I don't think there's anything else you could put maybe titanium quad tips I guess but that, other than that not really much else uh, all right so we got everything there all right so now we're on to the wheels so obviously we got to change those calipers we're not as e28 anymore um, the wheels I do like. I'm going to keep the stock wheels. I think they're very, very nice, this design. Um, so we're going to keep those. Uh, the only thing I'm going to change here are the brake discs to carbon ceramics. And our calipers to red Brembos. Definitely. And then the same for the back. Calipers, red, brake disc, carbon ceramics, very nice. Uh, tires, I usually don't mess with that, I just leave it alone. It's up to you if you want to change that, but. Alright. 
So there she is. Obviously, we're gonna lower it. That's way, that's way too high up. Let's see the stance here. Wow. Is it me or is the front end higher up than the back end? Camaros are not like that. That's weird. Okay. I think right there is good. Okay, we'll do the exhaust note after we put in all the internal modifications, which we're gonna do right now. Uh, I like I like it in red, so I'm gonna keep it red. It also matches our brake calipers, which is pretty cool, so. Engine swaps. So you have a, five, a flat 12, if you wanna do that. Okay, you have our seven liter V8. That's the stock V8 that comes in this car. I love this motor. Sounds amazing. 4.5 liter V8. I think that's from a Ferrari, maybe? I have no idea what's that from. A 5 liter V8 from a Jaguar. 5.2 liter V12. 3.5 liter V6 from the Ford GT. 8.4 liter V10 from a Viper. So a Viper motor and a Camaro. I don't know anybody who has done that before. <laughs> 3.9 liter V8 from one of the McLarens. And a 6.5 liter V12 from the Lamborghini Aventador. So. Obviously, we're going to keep our stock 7-liter Monster V8, which I love. And then we're going to max it out. Let's pull up the stats there. So we're going to do all Ultimate Plus parts. So one Ultimate Plus part, we're already at almost 600 horsepower. Second one, we're at 691, almost 700. So we're already past 2017, because the other one was 650. Boom, we're almost at 800 now. 885. We already passed demons and Hellcat red eyes. <laughs> and for the turbo charger, will give you you know a maximum 1236. Um, but I don't want to put turbos on a ZL1. I think this should have a supercharger. So I'm gonna do the supercharger. This gives us a lot of power. Over 1100, 1150 is a lot of power. So we're gonna do that. 115 pound tank. Track suspension. See elite brakes, definitely. Tires, we're not putting drag tires, we learned our lesson last time, so <laughs> with track tires. Uh, clutch, ultimate plus, yep. Uh, okay, so six speed's the best transmission you can put in this, that's pretty sad. Would've been cool if they let us, if they would've let us put the eight speed from the SS, or the crazy 10 speed automatic from the ZL1, the 2017 model. That would've been nice. Um, Track differential and nitrous power. All right, moving on to the exhaust. Oh, that sounds amazing! Yes. Wow. Oh, we we gotta turn that up all the way. Super aggressive tone. What the heck? Wow, unbelievable! Come on. That sounds interesting. Overrun, that's cracks, pops, and flames. I'm gonna max that out. <laughs> I love that. Pipe resonance. That's all. Yeah, I'm not messing with that. Alright, save that. Alright, let's go ahead and see how it drives. Some driving impressions. And the top speed run as well. This should be interesting with over 1100 horsepower. Charger. Oh my. I, I love this. We put it in, I think, three cars now. Oh, it just sounds amazing. And with this V8, the combination, it just sounds so good. Wow. Obviously, not as fast as when we put the turbos, but I mean, the sound, you can't beat that. And to me, I mean, this car should have a supercharger, not really turbos. Oof. This thing, <laughs> this thing is sick. Wow. Alright, so now we're going to uh, lower the downforce all the way to increase our top speed. 
activity a little bit up. It definitely needs that. Then we're going to use nitrous after the bridge. All right, here we go. Limits us to 238. Usually, there's not too many cars where I reach the limit of the gearing. So 238 was the limit. Not bad. The acceleration is good. The handling is pretty good as well. I mean, good for a front engine, rear wheel drive muscle car. I mean, very good compared to the Challenger, for example, we customized in the last video. Amazing car. A lot of fun. It's not that expensive either. Definitely recommend. Um, the upgrades aren't too great. I wish you would separate more of the upgrades because a lot of them are combined with different things like I explained before. But all in all, it's not bad at all. And the ZL1 conversion is kind of cool. Definitely, EA, please give us a newer ZL1 and an update or something. That would be awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.